Welcome to this video about the purification of copper using electrolysis. First thing being drawn is a DC or direct current power supply. The left hand positive electrode is known as the anode and is made of impure copper. The right hand negative electrode is known as the cathode and this is collecting pure copper over time. The two electrodes are submerged in a solution of copper 2 plus ions, either copper sulfate or copper chloride solution. When we turn the power supply on and the current is allowed to flow, we'll notice that the left hand electrode, the positive anode, will begin to appear to wear away and impurities will fall to the base of the beaker, whilst the right hand electrode, the negative cathode, will appear to grow in size as it builds up copper on its surface. The reaction taking place at the anode is known as an oxidation reaction. The copper atoms of the impure copper anode are being oxidized, losing two electrons per atom to form copper tubus ions that are then released into the solution, as shown by the ionic half equation being drawn now. And slowly over time, the impure copper anode will diminish as those ions are formed. Conversely, at the negative cathode, copper tubus ions are being attracted towards it, gaining two electrons and being reduced, and this is causing copper to deposit steadily onto the surface of the pure copper cathode. 